How's it going, everybody? DGZ23 and Bulletproof Bubbles back at you again with some more ceramic coating action. Today we have a nice, beautiful, two-tone Toyota Camry 2022. And this thing is pretty much close to perfect. Even after a year of ownership, the customer hasn't put any flaws in it. Uh, Toyota's paint is on the harder side, so I'm sure that's an attribute to it. But it's more of an attribute to the owner's uh, knowledge of how to take care of the car properly. So it's really good that he wants to get it protected to help him take care of it even easier. And uh, just to mention a couple other things about Toyota's paint, it really pairs well with ceramic coatings for some reason. I mean, just the feel of it is just amazing when I put it on. Any Toyota I put it on, and I think it's due to their process or the processes that they use before they paint the car. Uh, there's a lot of details that go into it, but they pretty much send it through a series of, well, the chassis itself, through a, a series of um, processes and then they electroplate it. The entire frame, the body, everything. Then they lay the paint on top. Uh, it's anti-corrosion and, and they do things to keep the sound down, the moisture out. You know, a lot of other steps that most manufacturers just don't take. So I think that's why it, it looks like really good compared to other manufacturers. Any color they have, it really does. And the way it pairs with ceramic is just great. So if you got any kind of Toyota, you're really going to love the feel of just touching your door handle every day. And that's really with any car with ceramic on it, but especially with the Toyotas. But, uh, the customer is opting for the long haul coating today. So as you see, we already started uh, cleaning out the wheel wells. Now we're moving on to cleaning the tires and the wheels. And we'll do the full decontamination. We'll do a one step polish. And we'll apply the Durslick DS1500 Extreme 7 to 10 year coating. So just sit back guys and enjoy. And we're also going to um, apply a three-in-one leather treatment to his seats that I'm offering. Uh, I think I'm going to extend it another month because uh, you guys seem to like it. And um, I wanted to point out right here where you see the water behavior is just totally flat. I mean, that's the biggest indicator of no protection on your paint. You want your paint to repel the water and dirt, uh, which you see this car was not doing it at all. And uh, I wanted to point that out because the owner said the dealer offered him a ceramic coating package, which uh, I'll just say those packages aren't the same packages as what, I, as what I'm offering. Um, I have a standalone product that lasts six months that will probably outdo what they put on there. And so just don't fall for that, guys, when you're out there at these dealerships trying to get these new cars and they want to offer you these ceramic coating packages just skip over it and come talk to me or some other reputable ceramic coating installer or you'll be much better off and uh, so you see we moved on to foaming the car down um, I do this as a way to kind of loosen up the dirt and it just helps me get through the car a lot faster you know after I let it dwell for a few minutes I can go buzz around the whole car in a few minutes and rinse it off and we're done. And since the customer took such good care of it and brought it to me with not much dirt on it to begin, this is definitely a feasible way to wash the car. Uh, if it was a lot dirtier, I probably would take a few more steps before I foam it or maybe I would just do it all by hand. But uh, now we're moving on to uh, washing from the top down, that would be the best way to wash your car. Most of the dirt's gonna be on the sides and at the bottom. So you wanna start from the top, work your way down, and you wanna uh, clean your mitt out as you go. I have a grit guard in my bucket, and the owner tells me he used the same style bucket. So it seems like we think alike on that. And after you move from that, you want to rinse it the same way too from the top to the bottom. Uh, now I am moving on to the next phase of 
the service, which is decontaminating the paint. And uh, even though this car is only a year old, trust me, there are iron deposits in the paint, as you will observe. In some areas, there will be more of the purple residue. Um, that is actually the iron that's been dissolved by the chemicals. Um, you may can see it even more, especially around the top areas of the car. As you'll see when we get to the uh, trunk area, the top part is probably the most heavily contaminated area on this car. So you definitely want to get this out before you break out a polisher and start swirling it around. Just could cause more problems than you know helping yourself. Now I'm just rinsing it off and this is a pretty stout chemical so it takes a while to really rinse it off. And it has you know some visual indication that you're rinsing it so you will eventually get it off. It just takes a little work. It's hard to tell the time lapse, but this took quite a while to get it all rinsed off well. And then after this stage, we'll move on to the clay bar. Um, I'm going to do my clay bar dry. Sometimes I like to do it with the car still wet. It just depends on how the day's going, what the weather's like. Today I felt like it would be better to just dry it off with my big gauntlet towel. This thing is... Uh, pretty amazing whatever I try to dry with it I still can keep going when I'm done it holds tons of water it's a, a microfiber towel by the rag company um, if I'm not mistaken I know they're twisted loops that's the best type of microfibers you want to use that thing can still hold plenty more water okay so you see, I got just a plain old basic sandwich bag here. Nothing special. The surface is nice and clean. Looks good enough to eat off of. Not so fast. There's dirt deep embedded in there. You just can't see it. And I'm gonna prove it to you with the bag test. This is uh, what I used to make sure I need to do this or not. Most times you're gonna have to do this. Maybe a handful of cars ever I didn't have to. It's nice as it looks. We're gonna see if it's really clean or not. Okay, you hear? How it's nice and gritty you can hear it you hear all that grittiness under my fingertips you may think that's the bag but that is the dirt now once I use my good optimum no rinse lubricate it up good get my nice clay mitt my composite material and rub it on the surface really lightly It's shearing away that deep embedded dirt. It's a little bit abrasive so it can catch it and pull it out. Once I go over this a little bit, dry it off, do the bag test again, you'll hear the difference. Let's dry it off. Do the bag test again. And in the sandwich bag, smooth, no more noise, nice and clean. Now I can polish. So you guys see the importance of me having to do this over every inch of this car before I get the polish out. What's the need of keep spreading around all the dirt? It may even be something abrasive in there. You may scratch the car as you're trying to clean up the car. So you definitely want to stop, take a minute and do this part. All right, guys, stay tuned. Before we move on, guys, I want you to pay attention to something. You notice how the water is sitting there pulled up like it's a dam holding the water. Uh, that is actually another indication that the surface needs to be decontaminated. Um, if you zoom down on paint, much like the moon, our paint is full of craters, valleys, it's highs and lows everywhere. Um, and that's how your car gets dirty. Dirt sits down in there and it accumulates on top of each other. Uh, so first thing I need to do is move that out. And as you can tell, the water is able to move freely in the area where I have used the clay mitt and the lubricant. 
I've literally pulled all of the tiny particles of dirt out of those craters. And once we're done decontaminating polishing, the goal will be to fill in all of those tiny small areas with the ceramic coating. And then I will level it by hand to make a completely flat surface. Now I'll run that back again in slow motion so you guys can see how the water was moving very rapidly and freely until it met the area that had not been decontaminated yet. Okay guys, I'll let you guys sit back and enjoy watching me do the rest of the clay bar on the vehicle. Clay bar is complete and she's looking a lot better guys so let's take a look inside and see what we have to take care of. We're going to do a basic interior detail which is going to include the traditional vacuuming, wiping down all the interior surfaces and then I'm going to treat the leather with Leather Coat Max, a product, another product from Duraslick. It's a three-in-one, it cleans, it protects in conditions, and it will last you probably about a year. And I've been offering it free with any package the last couple of months, and I'm going to extend it into September. So if you want to take advantage of a really great product, this would be a great time. It's usually a $200 package starting, so it's definitely a great value also. You'll be able to see visually the nice appeal it has to the leather. Uh, it looks a little extra wet to begin, but once it settles in and I wipe the excess away, it leaves a nice satin finish and it gives it a great texture. Got her all wrapped up, and she is looking mighty nice, I must say. I like the different tones that this leather has with the sports leather in the middle and the nice smooth leather on the outside. Gives it some nice contrast, even though it's all black. And with the leather coat on it, it looks really good. Customers should be well pleased with that. Alright guys, it's about time to polish. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. But before I move on, I want to introduce you guys to my special guest. She's been hanging out with me all weekend while the wife's out of town. You guys meet Carly Rose. Say hey Carly. Hey. 
I just send my dad. I just do Miami. It's just my daddy's car. <laughs> I just clean the house. <laughs> All right? Kids just be you. And it's just scissors. And crack. <laughs> and as you see, guys, she can really talk. I mean, she's only two, but she she might as well be four, five. I mean, this girl is smart as a whip. Yeah, I just see, I just see guys who want to do it. Well, guys, y'all just keep on being entertained. I want to let y'all meet and greet Carly Rose. All right. Alright guys, we are done with the polishing process and as you may have noticed, there is more clarity and gloss all over this vehicle. Only thing left is to wipe down the panels to make sure there is no more residue left from the polish and apply the DS1500 Extreme. Unfortunately, I did not get any footage of me applying the coating. This weekend was really hectic. I had to perform like Michael Jordan in the clutch without the wife away. But me and my two year old, we were a team and we got it done. So we're gonna jump right into this reveal guys. When it gets out here in the sun, you guys are gonna see how much of a crystal it really looks like.
As usual guys, it's definitely been a pleasure. I hope you guys were well entertained and I hope you guys come back for the next episode. My customer was very ecstatic when he saw his vehicle and he's looking forward to bringing me another. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. And if you're in Huntsville, Alabama, come visit me for a beautiful ceramic coating. Bulletproof Bubble signing out.